Trevor Barker, Beach Oval, welcome to Sandringham Zebras. Back home again against Port Melbourne. It was finals teams, third versus seventh. It was a huge contest and we expected. And we got a lot of that early David Rhys Jones. Yeah, we certainly did. And uh, Port actually jumped out of the blocks. They kicked the first two goals of the match and uh, looked like they were on fire. They just had control of the play uh, in that first eight minutes. And uh, there's one of those goals from uh, Sanderlands, I think that one was. And, uh, and they were just right on top. And it really did take till that eight-minute mark before Sandringham were actually able to get their hands on the ball. Bo Moster was a terrific target down forward. He took a, quite a number of good pack marks and uh, did a terrific job kicking a couple of goals as well. Unfortunately, went off injured later on in the game. But uh, it was just uh, all Sandringham in, in, in the second half of uh, that first quarter. It was a terrific effort. They kicked five goals, five, ten shots a goal. And... Uh, a good effort to put themselves well in front. Well, this guy here, Josh Bruce, was super exciting. They kept the forward line open, David, at the start of the game. And suddenly, after getting the first four scoring shots, Port, Sandringham went berserk, scored the next ten shots. Five goals, five was the only little blemish against the line. But eventually, Port started to wrestle a bit of momentum back. Yeah, they did. Well, they copped a, a good old-fashioned spray from their coach, Gary Ayres, at quarter time. And, and that lifted the players. And, and that can help every now and then. I mean, uh, you know, I think we're too soft on players a lot of times these days, but he gave an old-fashioned spray and, and they responded and they were terrific after that. And already in that play, we've <laughs> seen the good and the bad of Dan Connors. He just got busier and busier as the game won and kicked a couple of goals in that second quarter. The start of the third quarter was interesting because we already saw one injury with Simpkin going down. In fact, Sipos going down. Then Moster went down. That was super important. Yeah, both did shoulders and both looked like they'd, they'd hurt themselves reasonably severely too. So... Uh, this young fella, Josh Bruce, he was a good target up forward along with Spencer White. So they kept him in the game, but unfortunately, their kicking for goal let Sandringham down and, and let Port Melbourne back into the game. Uh, we, we get to the last quarter here, and, and it was all Port Melbourne. I mean, their experience, they were able to run away uh, with the game. Sandringham were light on on the bench. They had three players not coming back out, so uh, that, that took its toll as well. But... Uh, we see this, a Shane Warne leg break here and uh, huh. terrific shot at goal and uh, five goals for Dan Connors, he was terrific. And the brilliance of Kane and Valenti late in the game. This was the sealer that Shane Valenti did with about three or four minutes to go, which made the margin 26 or 27 points. But it was a wonderful fight back from the borough. They did have a few injuries, but they got the job done, the borough. The full-time stats here were pretty even right across the day. There was not much change. The hit-outs were either. The centre breaks were quite even. That certainly didn't dictate anything to me, or, or I guess, in the boxes the game went no, on. No, it was a bit of a blowout on the kicks towards the end of the game, but uh, it was pretty even for most of it. And uh, very good win by Port Melbourne.